few weeks back, Bitrate, Aki, yep. and Basic, who can't be here, he's got car trouble, did a show where they reviewed <laughs> the excellent rated album compiled by Bitrate. Thanks. And I watched it, and uh, I thought, this is the, I want to be a part of this. It reminds me, like, I used to work in a record shop. Is that where we met? Yeah, that's where we met, me and you, yeah. You lucky, lucky. <laughs> that's where we met. Um, I used to like, I love like the sharing of, I used to love buying records and coming back and playing them to your mates. Mm. So I thought, when I saw it, I was like, I was jealous. Yeah. I had like, I wanted to cut, like, I love that feeling of going, right, I've got these garage records, have you heard them? Yeah. So I thought, right, I'm getting involved in this. And that's not why Phil's not here. I haven't kicked him out. <laughs> we invited, but he's, cut, he's got car trouble. But he sent his things through. So I want to do it again. Yeah. But selfishly, I want to get involved. But I'll let you two start because you two are seasoned pros now. Yeah, done this at least. Well, we've done, done it at least twice. twice. <laughs> so I know what you mean with the sharing thing. I mean, back in the day, we used to have a, we used to see who's got the best records and stuff like that. And it was like hunting for records. You used to get tape packs and then tape you used to packs, go to, yeah. through the tape packs and listen to what everyone was playing and then it was like, I need to get this tune. I, yeah. This tune. And you play, have you heard this one? Have you heard this? Have you heard this mix? Yeah. Even to the, we were um, listening to old jungle sets and it's amazing how I, I can remember old MC lyrics. Even just the talking bits in between. Not like, I never like, yeah. I never like try to be an MC, but you just subconsciously can remember like the, the smallest thing. Yeah. You listen to. Is that coming next? By the way, the MC career. I hope so. <laughs> I really feel like that's on the cards. If I see someone doing it and I feel jealous and I feel like I'm missing out, then yeah, I'm going to kick them okay. out and start the MCing. Like cool. this, I'm just going to force my way in. So yeah, like, I, I think that's, I think that's my was my favourite bit and is my one of my favourite bits about DJing is just sharing the music, like thinking when. You make a record and you go, I can't wait to play that this week. Yeah. Or you yeah. buy, or even buying a record. You know when you yeah. used to go record shopping, you think, I can't wait to play these. That's even if, even if it was your mates in the bedroom, you couldn't. Know I mean, all together. Yeah. Like, coming com coming back to my nan's house and all my friends would come back from the record shop and yeah. be like, right. Listen to what I've got. Yeah, I used to drop them all at my residency at Bedroom Nation. <laughs> Bedroom Nation. Oh yeah, week weekly residency at Bedroom Nation. I've, we should bring Bedroom Nation back. I yeah. think Bedroom Nation is a great idea. Who's got a big enough bedroom? There's like new boiler room, Bedroom Nation. Capacity four and a pet. <laughs> oh, four and a half. <laughs> and a pet. Um, so yeah, that's uh, yeah, that was always my favourite thing. Coming back, you, you know, when you like when you found one that had been after for ages. Yeah, and then you know you're gonna come back and you're gonna play the play. You're not gonna tell them. You're just gonna drop it in. Yeah, it's better if it's a white label. It'd be like, what's that? <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> yeah, just like just wait. So yeah, this is the, so this is the modern day version of that, kind of. Without pets. Without pets. <laughs> without bedrooms. We could bring them in. Without, without. Well, we used to smoke lots of weed then. We, we we can add all this if we want. Now we're just on coffees and. Now we just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> times have changed. So yeah, it's mo it's modern day. It's a lot more upmarket. It's it's not a bedroom in Totten. It's a it's a, it's a coffee. <laughs> so, so I'm playing songs off a laptop rather than twelve tens. Man, man, if you could tell me that back then, back then I wouldn't <laughs> believe you. Man. I wouldn't have believed you. So uh, Aki, if you want to start off, what's your first tune you want to share with the group? Yeah, so my first one is by um, a guy called Tough Culture from Birmingham, I believe. Yeah, we know Tough Culture, yeah. He, yeah. Was, he was here not too long ago. Yeah, we, he, yeah, we came in the office, didn't he? And yeah. had a little chat with him. And um, Nice guy. And yeah, no, yeah, he's a very nice guy. And I, at the minute, I can't find a tune. Wicked. Good to see you prepared. <laughs> oh, there he is. There we go. You are the next one. I'm honest, extra nodding going on over there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is a real bit of me. Yeah. yeah. This is so far up my street, it's in my front room. Can't believe you just stolen that. Okay, so that's. Oh, I never stole that. Don't start that argument again. Okay, so that's tough culture. <laughs> and it's called Vibrations. Huh? And it's out on Strictly Flavour. And that is. I, I quite like Great it. Great label. Got, it's got a bit of like a Saw 16 little vibe to it. We have a, we have a crossover. Garage vibe, I like it. Yeah, uh, strictly flavour as well. Like big ups to them, consistently pushing out new stuff as well. Yeah, good label. 
Yeah, so that's my first one. Good, Good start. Back. Yeah. Strong. Strong start. You, you, what you got? You got. <laughs> <laughs> Chris should be the best. That he should. Um. He so. Should, well, mine is, um, it's a song that's been out a while, but only been out recently for download and streaming and stuff. So they brought it out on vinyl on a very limited test press. It's by YUQE. Came out on South London Press, I believe. And limited run, sold out, two-step, like just so like smooth, sweet, summery. Um, as like harking back to the old school sort of dubby two-step sound. But it's it's... It's not, it's, it's smooth and it's sweet, but it's not done in a sort of really cheesy commercial way. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's how I would do it. No, no, no. <laughs> you've all been guilty. <laughs> um, it's really good stuff. Um, really. And they brought out other stuff since. Yeah. Um, so check out anything by the way you cutie, but this is, this has only just become recently streamable and downloadable. So that's why I'm, I'm one of my tunes at the moment. So I, it's it's a called intro. You Belong To Me. Shall I play it? I would love you to play it. Yeah, it gives me that, like, do you remember Zoom in DVX coming again? That kind of yeah, vibe to yeah. it. It's it's it, it's nice to be, because there's a lot of, like, bassy stuff. Right? Mm. Even within Garage, like, there's a lot of bassy stuff going on. So it's nice mm. when there's something that can actually drop in between. Because when it first sort of blew up, the whole point of what, what got me into it was that you could go across the board yeah. from something really heavy yeah, of course. down to something quite sort of two-step yeah, and sweet perfect. commercial nice, sounding. Yeah. And it wouldn't matter. People wouldn't have... I mean, yeah. And it would happen in the raves as well. People would be dropping those in amongst in the raves. Yeah. And it, people wouldn't be stood there and go like, yeah, that, this that, is odd. that was always what I liked to, about it because you, um, it is, and that's why, you know, why, well, contributed to the grime birth it is because they just play like, there was no like, oh, this isn't the right genre. They play like Pulse X, Daniel Bedford, but all these records were like unique. Mm. And that's, we, we keep going back to the record shop, but, these records would come like Narrows was like remember when you first heard Narrows yeah like it was just didn't sound like anything that else. was a game changer that was Agent X decoy yeah same by similar. the way where is DJ Narrows if someone can go and find that guy we would do a live stream with him once you didn't get hold of him I don't know where he's gone we booked a couple of times with me never yeah that him. record's iconic it changed that was the one because I was firmly like pro drum and bass not that you couldn't like both, but at the time it kind of felt like you had to you had to pick a side back then, one or the other. And then that narrow's record was like, "This is like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. This is mental." <laughs> yeah. And yeah, but like these Pulse X, all these records, like, just it was just such a broad genre. They're like Heartless Crew seems to play stuff that's completely different to everyone else. It, that's what. Yeah. So solid crew. There's some of those instrumentals, like it's just yeah, crazy. That's what I like, and this it feels like it's going back to that a bit now, doesn't it? It feels like mm. yeah. It's so broad, like so. There's stuff. Aki's one was uh, the Tough Culture record, as I say. It's quite bassy, quite red light, even. And then that's yeah. complete. It's like the polar opposite. Like and you can play both of those within the same set, and it wouldn't yeah. raise any eyebrows. Not at all. For anything. And they both got energy in a different kind of way. Um, so it's really cool to see that sort of stuff being made to such a high caliber as well, as well as the bassier stuff, which is, I guess, more. Not easy to make, but it's easy if you're like making it for the dance floor. Yeah, arguably going that way to get a reaction out of yeah, people yeah. would be considered to be sort of the easier option. But within the new set of garage that's being made, it's like it's, it seems that people are really paying attention on both sides. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. No, it's good. Good time for garage, eh? Definitely is, mate. What's your track then? What's your first one? Four. <laughs> no, it's a select. It is four, but it's a selector remix of our record with Lisa Mafia, Shine. Yep, big up Lisa just Mafia. The Friends of Four remix album that came out recently. Obviously, Selectors. He's a he's a he's a firm favourite here, isn't he? Yeah, he's a bit talented, isn't he? He's very good, and I think this is um yeah. 
There's a few garage remixes on. Well, I think we'll have ones from this album as well. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, <laughs> no, this I really like this remix. Um, have you heard it? Yes. Yeah, so well, we've all heard it, but let's pretend we haven't. <laughs> Smash this, Sonny. Like, and we can play this one for longer because it's one of our tunes. <laughs> play it as long as you want. Play it all the way through. Basically, still probably taking it out. <laughs> no, yeah, he's selected on fire at the minute. I think it's gonna it's gonna be a good year for him next year. But that is um, I still can't believe he did a track with Lisa Mafia. Uh, big up Lisa. I think about that. I think about her every day. I think. <laughs> No, I can't believe it's that was that was one of the best that's one of the best moments in our career, surely. Yeah. Definitely. The Queen of UKG. She come to us as well. Yeah, Imagine that. Did. Imagine that when you're at home. Lisa Mafia wanted to do a track with you. How long did she have to record it? She did we she came did down a couple of times. We've done two couple of tracks, didn't we? Yeah, we 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 produced her single and then we we done another one at We've done another one and we haven't released. So it wasn't limited to the amount of seconds or anything like that? No, no. Sorry, I apologise. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we were caught on that a lot earlier. <laughs> I know, I did get... I, I, it took me 21 seconds to catch on to what you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but no, was... no I'm gl- I like the way we put the Solexa flip on that record. Uh, Sounds great. A, a garage Seems vibe, great. yeah. For the chopped up vocals, etc. And again, I have really a, 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 a different angle again. Is... Yeah. Yeah, different side to what's going on, and I think a couple more that I know that we were sort of the other tracks we we're about to say. It's just more um, examples of the breadth of what's being made at the mm. moment. Yeah, it makes you excited for next year. What definitely what the future holds for for Garage. Mm. What you got, Ak? Uh Okay, so I have gone for Fabian Dubs. I don't know a lot about him, but you said you know a little. I've bit heard a bootleg remix that he did of. Zane Pillow Talk right. this was a couple of years ago now when that tune first came out and it was as much I mean I used it for like yeah commercial party sets and stuff like that yeah. it does the business but as much as it was a remix of that as a commercial tune it was still like a good quality remix and you'd be like okay cool the Pillow Talk bootleg like, must have been quite big at Bedroom Nation must have got that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah no, so this Fabio Dubs called Shine I like it it's got like classic R&B vocals and a classic garage sound what label was it on? Uh, I'm not too sure actually it says, just says the shine. I don't know whether it's uh-huh. independent. I suppose. Well, I've, I've, not, I've not heard it, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. You let it run for the tippy, eh? I'm not sure. I am. You let it breathe, yeah. <laughs> well, it's the radio that counts. So oh, <laughs> Hmm? Is it saying the vocalist is? No. I don't know if it's original or remix, but I've never had the vocal. Yeah, so that's Fabian Dubs. Yeah, Shine. I liked it. Nice Chris. little roller, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice roller. And again, full vocal, it's another... It's very classic garage sound, isn't it? Yeah, like... It's, a, it's, a... it's that classic combo, like you said, of like R&B sound and vocal over a two-step beat and stuff. They yeah. just sound so good together. Yeah. I don't know the vocalist is, but it sounds really nice. Yeah. Nice, no, right. Oh, that's good. I like. I like to hear more from him. Yes, we'll tag him in the show. Hopefully, yeah, we'll send, send, some, some, bits, stuff, send some bits in. Send some more stuff, Fab. Um, all right, my second choice is um, one that came out on Rated that I was. Good album. Thank you good very album. much. <laughs> number one, X number one on Juno Dial. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Got taken off the top spot by your album. Yep. Which is not a bad thing to be. Don't like to be. It's fine. So start this. Don't don't leave me out of the picture. Uh, I'll, I'll come in and knock someone out. Um, but there. So I was lucky enough to be able to preview a song by Rico Tubbs on Rated, and it's a preview of more forthcoming bits mm. that I'm not going to talk about. Oh, you can do because it would have people would know about it by now. Oh, they would have. Mm. Yeah, because okay. it's 
So, well, it won't be big news, but I'll give it a little bit of a drummer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, within Garage Shed, we have created a sub label called GS Dubs, which is going to showcase more of the dance floor ready yeah. um, rhythms that a lot of the producers that are within Garage Shed and outside that are going to come on board um, are making, um, with Garage Shed being more of the sort of slightly more commercial. Uh, radio friendly sort of songs we're going to sort of focus on the dance floor with gs dubs um and launching that is rico tubs with his rico dubs ep hey, genius genius and one of the tracks in that um is uh, runaway which is on rated which i've been playing out a lot since um there's two other tracks on that as well so go and check out the ep yeah, which, is EP. this going to be is the ep out by the time we're talking about this now oh uh, it's it, if it isn't, it will be very close to okay, coming out. Okay, it's due out on Friday the fifteenth. There'll be a li- if it's not, there'll be a link to pre-order it or buy it. Or There's whatever. much more to come from other people as well, but this is the first one that's going to kickstart what we hope to be. We'll put links to as many of these. Yeah, this is a really exciting project. We've got some real good stuff being sent in. For yeah. It. So this is one of the tracks. This is Runaway. So should we play it? Yeah. <laughs> It just um it doesn't do any two records that sound the same. No. It doesn't do um it, it does stuff that's that's on, that's on the nose without sounding like anything out like you think this is like exactly what I want to hear from you. You know, the, the type of sound that is out without sounding like the bitch, you know what I mean? I think it might be because he's not within a scene, like, because he's removed a little bit from it. Do you know what I mean? So whatever he does, it might sound, okay, well, that's garage, you know, like that's... Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily sound like anything else going on, like, yeah. for, like, at the moment, because he is a little bit removed from stuff. He's yeah. not, like, you know, constantly within the scene, so he's always, like, listening to everybody else's stuff. Yeah. Because he's got other stuff going on as well. He's really yeah. like he's in a band as well. He's got a crazy amount going on. Yeah, he. Um, it's crazy that he's actually on our label in 2009. He used to be in the studio and try and reverse engineer tunes that he done. Like how has he like mm. rec- like how has mm. he done this and mm. try and f- try and figure out how is he doing it. And no, not figuring it out. Yeah, but we gave it and like now he's on the label. It's. Um, very, very lucky and happy to have him as a part of GS Dubs. Yeah, and he's got um, that that EP is incredible, and he has an, another tr- spoiler alert. I'm full of spoilers. He's got a single coming that's yes, yeah, massive, isn't it? That's massive. Big, yeah, yeah that will yeah. come ne- early next year, and it's a biggie. Yeah, it's a biggie. It definitely is. So is it me again? It's your turn, Gav. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well, last one. Four. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> sure. um, no, it's the Kirby remix of Cut Shapes yeah, from the Friends of Four remix oh, album, yeah. and it's on the rated album. Yeah, this is so, a personal favourite of mine as well. Actually, this is the best record Kirby's done, but he's only he gets better with every release anyway. So that's yeah, he's we'll been say s- that whatever he does next, we'll. That. He's been sending bits through that sound amazing, new stuff. So. Yeah, he he's. I think he, it's going to be a big year for it's going to be a big year for all of these people. I mean, I don't know, but obviously people closest we know about but I assume if, if people keep putting music out of this quality of we play it's going to be a huge year for them and for Garage but this remit like yeah I've been playing this every set yeah. I've loved it from the first minute I first time I heard it yeah big big tune alright well shall we give it a play shall we yeah <laughs> Meaty, you know. So, so good. I'm, I'm, if that was a deck, that I'll be, I'll be, I'll be pulling this back. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be aggressive. As well. I was about to dash all these coffee cups over the road. He was happy with that one. <laughs> but yeah, that's. Well, we've said it. We've, we've said it all. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've run out of compliments. 
And I know, like, obviously, I've, I've DJed with Kirby for quite a few years, and I know that when we were playing together during Red Light first coming back up after the Clips thing and then coming back up through the Lobster Boy thing, yeah, yeah. that they were the tunes that got us most gassed. Yeah. Like, when one of us had a Red Light tune that the other one hadn't heard or something in that vein, yeah. then if we play it to the other one and just both gas each other up during a set and stuff. And he's got to the point where he's making records like that that yeah, we would yeah. play to each other that would have gassed each other up and he's done one. Yeah, it's great. And that's see. the most exciting thing to see. Yeah. It's got proper energy in it, that record. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. full energy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I am. So, well, that's... A, that's our. Is that, that's our, that's our that's six of the chart. We got that's more six. to come. But yeah, we'll put we're, in the comments. We'll yeah, put, we'll put a top ten. Yeah, uh, Phil's two uh, that he he will send in, and then we'll battle over the other two. Gavin Ford, Rick Mix. It'll probably, be, it'll probably be four, <laughs> four and Gavin Ford. I'd imagine <laughs> it's going to be some Gavin Ford. Right? <laughs> um, also, if you think we, if there's any garage tunes you think we should be putting in our top ten, let us know. If you're making garage tunes, let us know. Mm. Send them in, put them in the comments. Anything you think we've missed? New garage though, don't don't send in. Don't we know about flowers, don't we? <laughs> like we don't need to put that in there. We want new garage. For yeah, it. yeah. Just new garage. Yeah, in the last what, what's the, what's well, there the could be back? remixes of old garage tracks. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. What do you reckon? Like the last six months was that too? What, we want? what of stuff they've made? Yeah. What do we say? Oh, that, yeah. Well, if it's, it's unreleased within the last six months, obviously, yeah. Yeah, so as long as it's new. If it's unreleased and you want people to hear it, we'd like to but yeah, share it. Yeah, let us know. If, we, yeah. if we're missing any artists, any tunes, any labels, anything we're missing. It doesn't need to be on a label either. We're quite happily, we'll play, you know, yeah. SoundCloud only tunes and stuff. Yeah, we'll like play that. bootlegs. Yeah, oh, cool. oh, it's too late. I'm just going to change my mind on one of my tunes, but it's too late. But I'll go for next time. It, we'll, we'll do this again. Yeah. Because I've got, I've got some tunes for you. Got some up your sleeve, have you? <laughs> um, yeah make sure you uh, follow Aki and Bitrate on all their socials which we'll put up now uh, Aki's got some big you've got some more tunes coming I've got some new tunes coming yeah I've got three or four up my sleeve Gav you do a weekly mix don't you on yep. Goat Shed this, was Goat Shed music uh, every other Monday every other Monday five o'clock uh, but you catch me on the listen again thing on mixcloud.com slash bitrate you there you go just download them and listen to them again and yeah, we'll be doing some mixes and your rated tube. It's just loads of loads of garage content for everyone on your page. So get over there. Yeah. And yeah, um, follow our garage shared page. We try and cover as much garage on there as we can. And we've got one on Spotify as well, garage shared playlist. Which oh yeah, all of these tunes will be in that. Yeah, there's, there's over over a hundred tunes on the playlist. So yeah, some heaters in there. Some heaters, yeah. So yeah, uh, wallet. Yeah, mate.